All right, ladies, it's day one. We're gonna get chatting about diastasis recti or diastasis recti. So what is diastasis recti? If you didn't see my video, basically you have your right and your left abdominal muscles and then you have the tissue that's in between the muscles that connects them together and that's called your linea alba. If that tissue gets stretched super thin, then it causes um, those muscles to separate almost. So whether it's through pregnancy, um, a lot of women have this postpartum because of the uterus growing, stretches those muscles out. So they have that separation in here. So what does that mean? That means that you're not going to have the support that you need over your pelvic region. It can lead to lower back pain. It could lead to um, you know, hip pain and pelvic region leakage, all kinds of stuff. So you want to make sure that that diastasis is healing up so that you can strengthen your core and just have a super strong foundation. So we'll do the test really quick to see if you have it. From there, we're going to talk about a few foundational things. We're going to talk about alignment when you're standing and sitting, and we're going to also talk about how to lay down and get up. All right, didn't think those things matter, right? Well, they absolutely do. We want to be doing things that are going to promote that healing versus making it worse. So how do you have it? You lay down, bring your feet in. You're going to stick your fingers right above your belly button. You're going to lift your head up and stick your fingers down in between that separation. If you have a separation, you have diastasis, okay? So depending on how many fingers you can fit in between there, it's going to tell you how... Um, kind of bad it is. If it's two fingers or below, then it's pretty normal and easily fixable. If it's three or above, you probably need to seek a doctor to get some physical therapy to heal it up. So this is going to be for anybody that has that like two-ish finger separation and wants to get that healed up. So not just how wide it is, but how deep it is. So you want to see how deep down that finger goes. Um, if it goes to just like the tip of your finger or a little bit further, you want to know how deep it is too. So um, yeah, let me know below what you have, how many fingers, and um, we'll get going. So basically, when you're standing up, these are really important things because your alignment is everything. So when you're standing, you want to be standing with your feet right underneath of you, and you want to make sure that your shoulders aren't slouched forward or poached back. So as women, we typically tend to be like butt tuckers. So we tuck our butt under, it kind of creates like a slouch, whether we're blow drying our hair or slashing over a countertop, we, we tuck our butts under. So we wanna make sure that it's almost like a string that's right above our booties. And so if you're tucked under, it's just gonna pull it back up. So under, pull it back up. Not where it's too far back and uncomfortable or in pain, but you wanna make sure that you kind of pull that string up so we're going to be nice and tucked that way. So as far as your ribs, you don't want them to be flared open, okay, or too, too squished in. Kind of want just that perfectly straight alignment. So shoulders aren't forward, they're not back, butt's not forward or back. You want everything kind of just loose and relaxed and straight. So that seems kind of simple, but we really have to make sure that our posture is the way it needs to be, be in order for our um, organs to not feel like they have to push push forward creating that pooch in the front okay so again we're just kind of relaxed straight forward our boobs are in level they're not down or up so those are just some different ways to gauge that posture here and um, that's how you want to be so same thing when you're sitting you want to make sure that you're not slouched over pull that string straight up shoulders aren't forward shoulders aren't back straight up Okay, you can tuck a little pillow underneath of your booty to help you kind of force yourself to be up straight. Again, not too super straight where we're flaring those ribs. We want everything kind of compact, in line, and straight. So when we go to lay down, we don't want to do crunching if you have diastasis because it can make it worse. So if you're laying down and you get up like this, what are you doing? A crunch, right? So we want to make sure that if we're going to lay down, we kind of slide down. Slide down, sleep, and then on the way up, you want to kind of help yourself up a little bit. That's going to cause you to not pooch the organs forward and cause that separation to be worse. So it seems pretty simple, but that's all you're doing today because we got to get that foundation. We got to get that posture great. Um, we're going to be talking about breathing a little bit tomorrow. So focus on that when you're cooking, 
if you're in the car taking the kids to school, if you're at work at your desk, if you're grocery shopping, standing in line, no matter what you're doing, you're gonna be focusing on your posture today. So we're up straight, we're holding that core in nice and tight, and we're focusing on promoting that healing. All right, have a good day.